Hello everyone and welcome back to Julie's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making short ribs in the crock pot. So for this recipe we have short ribs, soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, ginger, pepper, and rice wine vinegar. So to start off while I'm making the sauce, I want to get the ribs soaking in some water. So while the ribs are soaking, I'm going to assemble my sauce. All in there, I just want to stir it around, get everything incorporated here, give the brown sugar a chance to dissolve a little bit, and the ginger. We best to use fresh ginger. I didn't have any, so I had to go with brown. So I just want to make sure this all kind of really dissolves. So the ribs have been soaking while I made the sauce. Um, now I'm going to take and drain them. Stop. So now they're all drained. So the next step is, believe it or not, we want to pat these all dry, really dry, and put them in the crock pot. So I'm going to take them out and put them on some paper towel here. And you want to pat them dry. Mm. All right, so we got the ribs in there, all dried off, pat it off. Now we're going to pour the sauce over them. So we have the ribs in here and I'm just going to add just a little of the olive oil just to give a little flavor. Sesame oil would be awesome but I'm out of it and I just want the little oil to give it a little bit of the fat that it needs. Alright so we're back and it's been a few hours and we're going to check on the ribs. I just kind of, ooh, look at them. I want to stir them around a bit, you know. All the juice that it made. Don't want to take too long because the longer you keep the lid off, the longer it adds time that needs to cook. So there I got them kind of stirred around a bit so the ones on the bottom are now on the top and vice versa so that they're cooked more even. All right, everyone, this is it. This is the time we're gonna test this. Our ribs, look at that. Ooh, you can only smell this. It smells so good. Look at this, falling off the bone here.
sell it, Julie. Sell it. <laughs> Your oven is speaking to you. Yes, it is. Alright, so we're going to make a plate, give these a test, and let you know how they turned out. Alright, well, here we are. We have it all done. And I put some over some mashed potatoes and I, the juice in there, I, using it and the juice in here. I didn't make it really thick. I wanted to keep it natural. And I put up a piece here. It's really pretty tender. So much of it fell off the bone. I'm going to try a piece here for you. Oops, got the mashed potatoes there on it. Okay, here we go. Salute. This absolutely melts in your mouth. It's so tender. You pick up on the, the sweetness with the brown sugar and the garlic. You can give it a nice little sweetness without being too overpowering. All the flavors, really, really pop. And I just can't get over how tender this is. Look at this. See how tender that is? This makes for a nice hearty meal. Mine's getting a little soupy because I keep mixing it up with my mashed potatoes. <laughs> but this makes a nice hearty meal on a nice cold winter day. And what's also great is this is great for leftovers too. So, well, I'm going to enjoy this. So I hope you try our recipe and let me know what you think.